Listen to that engine roll. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with a review of Creator's Raw 2 portable speaker device. Now wasting no time with this unit, it comes in at 1,007 grams. You also get two different flavors of colors there if you wish. You've got the black unit or the white unit. And also this thing stands at 108 millimeters by 186 millimeters wide with 52 millimeters of depth there. Now the rated battery charge time of this unit is six to eight hours. Also, I got around about six hours usage out of this device, however, the volume Volume was usually set to max however if I had the volume set probably to around 50 or lower I'd imagine that I'd get around eight hours usage out of this device looking at the construction of the device it features five speakers two on the side there which are dedicated to bass and have the creative logo featured on that and also in the middle you get three speakers there which are dedicated to mids and treble you've also got above that the power button the volume buttons and the Bluetooth phone connection device there which in practice all these buttons felt really sturdy however I would like to see a volume LED indicator readout there to let you know the status of the device and also the current volume level and which device is actually connected at the time then besides that you have the microphone holes there and also the battery indicator LED and the near field communication device which if you just touch your smartphone you are now paired with the device speaking of the microphone it is good up until about a meter past then the, so the voice quality does start to diminish quite a lot however I can recommend it for quick calls and using in your car if that's what you wish to do with this device Moving to the top of the device, you have there the USB audio or mass storage switch there, which if you're plugged into the computer, you can use it as either or. Below that, you have the RAW 2 and TerraBase options. Pressing this once will introduce TerraBase, which will give your sound more bass, and then pressing it again will give it the RAW 2 mode, which essentially makes the music sound a little bit more crystallized if you're used to using Creator's products. I personally preferred the flat level as it sounded really good when I was listening to some of my favorite genres. I'll give you guys a quick sound test of what the three modes sound I'm like can't you see me nay nay you man cause me I'm gonna do my thing you know I do my thing I'ma get my drink on and party like it's okay trust me man it's okay bounce with me slow mo when they hit it get it open again got I'm sipping on that juice and gin you can find me in the background in that backwards style and stuntin doing my two step front now I'ma tell you what I'm Run of discretion survives, this is one for music, now blend in with me As I proceed to break it down, it's always off the chain, man, when I'm around I play the block puppet it was all for the dough. I get the clubs up. Besides that, we have a play pause button, back and forth track selection, and a shuffle or normal continuance of music there. Underneath that is the recording options there, so you can use this device as a dedicated recorder. You've also got the option to play pause the recording and also mute the microphone on the fly. Now lastly, under this device, we're looking at the input outputs here. We have a micro SD, a micro USB, a USB out, which can actually be used to charge the device. So I use this to charge my smartphone, very nice touch. Then besides that, we have the auxiliary in and then the AC in there if you wish to charge this unit from the wall. So now I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts and opinions about the Creative Raw 2. And I must say that I was very impressed with this unit as soon as I got it in. Build quality was phenomenal. Also, the sound coming out of it was very good for a portable. And I'm a bit of a mild bass head so the bass coming out of this thing was very decent and it did please my taste. I must say that I did prefer it over the Astro speaker that I got in a few months before this. Also, another thing on battery life, I would like to see a little bit more battery life. However, it is understandable that the battery life is less than the competitors because it just has so much utility built into this unit. I was actually surprised which what you can do with this thing. One of the most impressive features was that it could charge my smartphone on the fly. Another thing that I really liked about this unit is you can actually use it as an audio device for your smartphone on the fly, use it with a PlayStation 4, use it with your PC. So if you need those manual speakers, you can also do that with this unit. Then lastly comes the build quality and Creative has also included some extra feet there so you can mount it on a vertical way like this and not have to worry about it slipping. However, the feet on the bottom here are very good in practice. I was surprised with how much they, or how well they could grip things and not slide anywhere. Also on that note, it is a pretty heavy unit so be careful. I wouldn't recommend dropping this thing. I'm not too keen to drop it either to test on how well it would hold up from a drop test. 
So all in all, I will be giving this unit four and a half stars out of five. I was extremely impressed by what Creative have done with this unit, and especially at the price point. I think you can get this thing at around about 140 USD at the time of doing this review, which makes this thing really good value for money if you're looking for a really good portable that has a lot more functionality built into it. Some little things that I will critique is the battery life and also the fact that it does have no LED indicator readout there. Though they are two minor things that will not stop you from enjoying this product, and and I can highly recommend it, and I think Creative have done a really good job with the RAW 2. Anyway, that's about it for me today, guys. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this video, then you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Tech Yes City for more tech news and reviews like this, and I'll peace out and see you in the next